Hey, hey, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Diesel and you are watching the Shades of Souls channel. Alright guys, so for tonight we're going to be doing the real review for the Wade 8083 Ultra. This colorway is the Nightlight colorway, but you guys already know, I really don't care about the colorway unless it affects uh, the performance. Alright, so um, starting off with everything, what is a real review? Real review is where I tell you guys how I feel about the shoe, how the shoe performed for me and my experience with it. And number three would be, is this shoe good for you or not? Okay? Alright, so just like with everything, let's start off with a product description read. If you guys want to push through on, fast forward this, that's fine. Um, the shoe, I got it from wayofway.com. Okay, you guys can see it's 160 bucks. All right. Replaceable midsole for customized fit and textile upper for breathability, full length boom midsole and four foot TPU for excellent bounce and cushioning. Tough, oops. Tough outsole, tough OS or outsole and carbon fiber plates for durability and stability. Let me see here. Here you go. Excellent bounce and cushioning. Updated with drop-in full-length boom midsole and four-foot TPU extending from tip to the middle part of the shoe and the outer side for higher responsiveness and better cushioning, accumulating more power for starting faster. There you go. That's the drawing or picture right there. Customized fit. Replaceable full-length boom midsole and four-foot TPU for more alternatives on courts and sports, functioning in more support, lightweight, lighter weight, or better bounce. Great traction and durability. Outstanding for court sports with tough OS, ideal for players fond of consistent grip, stable court feel, and best performance. Superior stability and support. Carbon fiber plates on the outsole and on the outer side of the shoe for more vertical and horizontal support with one piece TPU extending from outsole to upper preventing sprains and rollovers. Unique look and comfort designed in black and decorated with colorful elements on the outsole with letters 808 numbers more so on the tongue and brand logo on the heel. Textile upper for better feel of wrap up and breathability, increasing sweat evaporation rate and airflow speed. All right, there you go, guys. That was the product description read onto the box. All right, so when you get the box, this is how it looks. Okay, look at the side, look at the back, holes right there. There you go. Leaning brand. This is the bottom. This actually mimics a portion of the shoe. And here's the box tag, size eight half. That is my true to size. We'll talk about sizing in a little bit. Um, I've already played with the shoe, obviously. So I just repackage it so you guys would see how it looks like when you guys get it, okay? So it's uh, the box, the top of the box is detached from the main box. You get this um, foil looking plastic right here. As you guys can see it's see-through. Right, you guys can see my, almost see my hand in the back. And this is what you get right here. Right, the shoes, some silica gels, the tags right here. You know those tags have uh, importance. And then the, uh, the sizing chart, All right? Now, what I like about the Ning, although they don't put the detail of the products in on the box, they put it on their little tags right here. Let me, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what they wrote down here. All right, for this one, I don't really understand that. Right? Replaceable midsole. There you go. The shoe can be adapted to midsoles made of different materials to achieve different functional support, including support cushioning, lightweight rebound, etc. The shoe is flexible, flexibly suits several midsole options according to basketball players' personal preferences. 
providing a diversified experience with one product. Tough OS, this is the outsole. Higher wear resistant rubber material that provides an enhanced wear resistance level and an extended lifespan for the shoe. It is commonly used for professional tennis shoes with a high requirement for wear resistance functions. Carbon fiber plate. Okay. Carbon fiber plate is made of carbon fiber that is lighter in weight and stronger than traditional TPU material, which provides good rigidity and strength. This helps to provide superior support and force transfer during athletic activities, thus reducing energy loss during exercise and improving performance. This last one, I don't know what's written here. There's no, no English. All right. All right. So let's start off with the traction of the shoe. This is how the traction looks. Okay. I've played with this shoe over and over again indoors. I played with it in a 24 hour court and I played with it in the, in our league court. Um, the league court is an old court, but dusty. The 24 hours I've been going differ. I, I go to three different 24s and there are times where you will feel in the beginning that this will not grip, but then eventually after using them, like it doesn't even matter. Like this just performs anywhere also. If you guys have heard uh, my review for the Fission 8, although that one was better, this one gets really close to it, okay? The 8083 Ultras, they're very good. They, I cannot complain still, okay? No, no complaints on the outsole. Look at that tread pattern right there. Okay, and like you guys have read with me through the product description read, the Tough OS is made for outdoors, specifically outdoors, okay? All right, now on to the midsole. There's a lot of things going on with this shoe man let me before i can't talk about the midsole without taking the insoles out so let me just take this out for you guys all right so we're done talking about the outsole it, part of the insole is this one right this has a carbon fiber right there you guys have see this lining right here underneath that okay it's carbon fiber right here, okay? It's part of the midsole. Full length, full length boom cushion, as you guys can read. This to me, I think is, at least for me, it's very thick on the heel portion, all right? That's my personal opinion of it. Some of you guys may like it, some of you guys may not, but for me, preference wise, this is way too high up for me. Okay, I love that they have this uh, TPU right here um, because if you guys can see this is way too high, right? Your heels gonna be way too high and this is way too low, right? And over here there's no extra whatever type of cushioning except for the boom itself, but that's a very small portion of the boom. If you guys are into court feel, which I am, I have no problem with this one being too low. And this is just enough cushion for me too. However, this one right here in the heel is just too high, okay? I don't have a problem with this because Boom to me is actually very soft. Um, I would like it to have more energy return. I know this has a good a good bounce, like if you drop something on here, like a, a, a a ball or something, a metal ball or something. I know the bounce is pretty good, but sometimes when you put it inside here, this has no room to expand, okay? So it's a little bit contained, so I'd much rather prefer like a immediate energy return more so than a bounce. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but if you're gonna free fall something here, sure, it obviously, if this has bouncing properties, then it will bounce. But if you're constantly there and pushing on it, right? And your foot is contained on the top of it, if you're gonna do that, 
I'd much rather have that energy return than the bounce because there's no space for the bounce to go. But for energy return, it's just enough for where you push and it goes return still. It doesn't matter. Okay, so this one right here actually does that one for this shoe. Okay, or for this insole at least because of this little, little bit of spring back like that. Okay, this TPU, although this is already formed as such for it to like return, right? This TPU makes sure it has that additional spring back for it. That's why I like um, this one. I just hope that the heel was a little bit lower. See, I didn't even read that. It says energy return. So that's what this one is for, to mitigate the one, the, the, the energy return that I was talking about. Anything else on the midsole? I know I don't do unboxing, so let's do the details. Take a look at the details right now for the midsole. So you see the leaning brand. See turbo. This is plastic right here for um, side to side or lateral containment. This is carbon fiber. This is carbon fiber, like, uh, no, not carbon fiber, but this is a hole right here. See the external heel counter right there. This is just plastic. Okay. Proudly composed by Brand Wade. Four foot section on the medial also has a little bit of support for the side to side. Okay, so this is it right here for the midsole, right? And so I was telling you guys, in terms of court feel on that four foot section, excellent, I love it. In terms of cushion, cushion is pretty good for me on the four foot. However, on the back, it feels very clunky to me. I guess it's, I feel clunky because of how thick this is, S1, and two, because of how high it is. You guys can see, I know this is from what you guys can see right here in the hole. I know it's, uh, my foot sits a little bit lower, but still my foot sits way too high up here in comparison to where my forefoot is. Okay, so that's why I feel like it feels clunky in the back right there. All right, am I done with the midsole? I believe so. If you're asking about for cushion, cushion's good. Court feel is better on this one. It just feels a little bit too high for me or slash clunky. That's, that's all I can say about the midsole, but still pretty awesome. For 160, still pretty awesome to me. All right, now time to look at the upper. This is the material that they're using is very sophisticated, at least for me. All right, so when you look at these, right, it's mesh, but then when you look at these things right here, it looks like fiber right there. Fiber or underneath that whitish fiber, see, almost like a plastic property. Let me uh, turn on flash real quick. You see the one that's uh, glistening or emitting light? Looks plastic, right? Not quite sure if it is or it isn't. Here's the tongue if you guys want to see if it's a separate tongue all in itself. There you go. All right, but one thing for sure about the upper is very thin, right? You guys can see that it's very thin, but here's here's a crazier uh, here's a crazier um, info about the upper. It does look very thin, but is very supportive. Okay, whatever they did, however they molded whatever it is inside of this, look at that. Look at how look at how thin that is. You can see my fingers move right there. See, that's how thin that is but it's very supportive, very supportive, very breathable, no issues with warming up on the feet or heating up, like ventilation is perfect on this one, like very breathable. 
All right, so the shoe, although whatever it's made of, by the way, it feels feels heavy, heavier right here because though I can't blame the carbon fiber, but more so on the plastic and uh, the insole, right? Feels a little bit heavy, but when you put the put this on your feet and you get the right size, it actually feels very one to one with your foot, and you feel very quick. All right, you feel very quick on this one. So besides the uh, uh, mesh looking upper, that's like plastic and nylon at the same time. I wouldn't even, yeah, plastic and nylon at the same time. You have this uh, fused material right here for high wear areas. Additional uh, stability purposes of the material that's underneath the uh, CPU right here okay same here all right more breathability portion right here and on the heel you guys can see it when you put your feet in I know there's there's different types of uh, materials there but when you put your feet in it doesn't have that heel sculpting feeling that you would normally feel on current or newer shoes as of the moment. Does it feel like it's uh, it's gonna hold your heel? Yes, it does. But at the same time, you just don't feel like, you feel the hugging of your heel, but the feeling of that contour, that those curves, you don't feel it, okay? It, it feels like it's gonna hug, it feels like, and it does hug your heel, just not the portions of it or the contours of it. As for the tongue itself, you guys can see it's mesh material. This is very pillowy, I should say. Like there's a, on this portion, like literally on this portion of the tongue, it has, it has cushion in there, like cushioned pillows or something. So that might pose an issue for you, right? It didn't for me, but it might pose an issue on you or for you, especially on this part. I feel it a little bit, but if you wear thin socks, this this should be no problem. But if you have that uh, very high uh, cuneiform portion on your on your anterior portion of the foot, then this will be an issue, okay? Just know that um, if you get the right size and you have that very high Cuneiform bone right there that this is gonna issue, be an issue um, Sizing for the shoe I went with true to size and I didn't have any issues with it But then again if you guys know me and have followed me I've always liked a snug fit and the way this one feels if I'm gonna be Very straight and honest with you guys this feel this does feel like a Kobe 8 Or a Kobe 11 or a mix of both. The only difference is, for some reason, this just feels a little bit more premium, okay? But that also being said, premium, this, um, the security of it, like the lockdown of it, and I hate to say it, but it's true, is far better, okay? Far better than the, the Kobe's in terms of lockdown. If you guys can see the laces, I know this is the lacing is like on the outer side, but these strings right here that it's attached to, the, these white strings, really make a difference. Like this one's this one here because of those uh, cushiony pillow portion of the tongue, because of how thick that is. In addition to the laces, I don't I don't even tighten up my laces too much, otherwise it's gonna hurt. Okay. But if it's just there, just to contain that area and not move around, that was good enough for me and the shoe had great lockdown still. This to me feels like, and I hate to say this again, a more, in comparison to the Kobe 8 and Kobe 11, this is a more premium Kobe to me, okay? At 160, you have premium materials more so than the Kobe, but that's me. You guys can check it out yourselves, try it out yourselves, see if I'm talking smack out of my ass. 
Okay, but like I said, it. I don't think I don't believe the Kobe's has been this thin. If you guys can see that, I don't think they have been thin. They may be thin, but they're very, very supportive. The lockdown is very good on these shoes right here. Okay, no problem in the outsole, no problem in the insole or the drop-in midsoles. My only personal concern is the length or the height of uh, the heel. But other than that, that's personal. Like I said, some people may like it, some people don't. And the upper in itself, man, it's just pretty damn good. Okay, who do I recommend it, this shoe to? Now, coming from the 808, 808 2 regular and the 808 2 ultras, those feel like a guard shoe. This one feels like it's for every position, okay? One, two, three, four, and five. This, because of the containment, the way it, the way it, the way it was designed, I believe, holds everything here, right? On court, the stability portion, the security right here, you have it all the way, okay? All the way from the heel to the heel counter, carbon fiber right here to make sure your heel is stable, right? All the way to the front and even on the midfoot, all the way to the front, stability everywhere. And you guys have seen, there's a carbon fiber here. There's a TPU right here, right? Everywhere. There's reinforcement everywhere on this shoe. You guys can see that? That's the TPU that I was talking about. So stability wise, this is pretty good too. And this is why I say this isn't just a guard shoe. It's maybe a low top, but then fours and fives could also use this. Especially with the containment and the lockdown right here in the upper. It's just amazing. For 160, you get all of that. Okay? That is how I feel about the shoe. That was my experience with the shoe. I didn't have any issues with it. Every time I had issues with the other shoes I'm testing, it's either this one. I really wanted to get back on the Fission 8, but because the Fission 8 hurts the top of my foot, I preferred this one. And this one takes the cake. All right? You guys have any questions or anything like that? Make sure to put that in the comment section down below. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. That is, by the way, the end of the review. Um, I really love the shoe, and uh, this is this shoe is for all positions. All right, get me. I like true to size. It felt snug. Um, if you're a wide footer, definitely go up half a size. Okay. And um, I hope I didn't miss anything. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys for your support. If you guys have any comments, issues, concerns, questions, any other thing of that nature, please put it down in the comment section below. If you guys don't mind, um, please support the channel by putting a like on the video or subscribing to the channel. And uh, yeah. That's it for the real review for the Wade 808 3s. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. It's your boy Diesel signing off. Peace out.